Hello. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the clownfish and the Ocelaris clownfish in particular. One of the big misconceptions about clownfish is that they are, uh, you know, the particularly the Ocelaris varieties, is that they're generally listed as peaceful on most of the websites like Aquaria, Blue Zoo Aquatics. Um, realistically, all clownfish are semi-aggressive. Um, the, there's obviously, there's varying degrees in which, uh, clownfish are aggressive, um, you know, there's everything from the Ocelaris, which is generally considered the most mild of the clownfishes, all the way up to the dreaded tomato clown, which is almost just a flat-out aggressive fish, um, the Ocelaris clownfishes and clownfish in general are generally recommended for a uh, minimum tank size of 30 gallons or more. Um, that said, however, um, you know, in my personal experience, uh, I had a snowflake Ocelaris, and quite honestly, it was just a, a, a territorial butthead. Um, it, caused all kinds of problems with my scissor tail dartfish. It would go after it and just bite it repeatedly. Um, it would do the bump and shadow behavior with my wrasse and my goby, even though that my wrasse, uh, you know, ultimately put it in check to, a, to an extent. Um, but uh, the, the, the point is, is that a lot of people get this idea that Oh, you know, these these fish are generally peaceful if you go with an Ocelaris variety. Well, really, they're they're on the lighter end of semi-aggressive. Um, they'll challenge any fish that they think they can bully, and they will uh, generally just try and be very territorial. Um, so, keep in mind that the clownfish is a member, technically, of the damsel family, and we all know exactly uh, what kind of fish damsels are. They're, you know, once again, showing similar sorts of behavior to clownfish. Um, mine was, of course, captive bred because it's a man-made fish, um, and uh, I had a tank in a tank of 36 gallons with generally peaceful tank mates, but uh, still had problems. So my recommendation, particularly if you're going to go with, um, with a clownfish in a smaller tank, my recommendation would be either just get like a pair of them and then maybe like a sand sifting fish or something to aerate your sand and then just calling it good or to get a uh, significantly larger tank, you know, 50 gallons or larger. Um, and then you could probably keep them, you know, like the Ocelaris or even a Percula or something like that in there. Um, if you're looking at like a cinnamon, maroon, or tomato clown, uh, just be, if you're going with a smaller tank, just be prepared to dedicate the tank to them. Um, they're not going to play well with other fish, period. So, uh, there, there's so many examples out there of people who have had to get rid of them, remove them from their tanks because they do not play well with others. They're very territorial um, and will kill other fish if you give them the chance, uh, if they get in their way. So, um, so f for this reason, um, I, as I said, you know, if you're going to go with a clownfish, I recommend either an Ocelaris or Percula. And if you're doing a smaller tank, I would almost dedicate a tank to them. Uh, that way you won't really run into territorial issues. Uh, the cool thing, particularly about the captive bred fish, um, clownfish, is that they are always active. Even at night, they're, you know, even in their sort of semi-dormant sleep mode, they're still swimming in the tank. Um, so you always have a fish that is out and active, which was you know, that was kind of cool, uh, to be able, you know, you could go out at three o'clock in the morning and there's, you still got a fish that's out there swimming around, but, uh, but ultimately he was just didn't play well with other tank mates. So I got rid of him. Um, so for those of you out there who are looking at clownfish, um, either a big tank for a mixed community 
or a dedicated tank if you're going on the smaller end. Um, and, you know, and as I said, I, I would recommend if you do go with a clownfish and you are going to put them in a larger tank with a mixed community, uh, I would recommend sticking with either the Ocellaris or the Percula because those are kind of the, the two lighter ends of the spectrum, as it were, for clownfish when you start, you know, the cinnamon, the maroon, and the, of course, the dreaded tomato. Uh, those are just... I would say they're they're right on the border between semi aggressive and aggressive, so I I don't recommend them in a tank with other uh, different types of fish and tank mates, unless of course you're getting you know the semi aggressive and aggressive variety fish. That would be about the only way you could probably mix those in. So those are my recommendations and observations on clownfish, and uh, thanks for watching.